Alarms in GameMaker are great, but you may have come across some limitations. For example, you have to use them with objects, which can only have 12 of them, and they are dependent on your game's frame rate. Enter time sources. Create a time source from anywhere like a script using this GML function or action. After specifying its parent time source, give it a length, which can be in frames or in seconds. If this is in frames, then the time source will be dependent on your game's frame rate. But if it's in seconds, then it will not be tied to your game's frame rate, meaning a 1 second time source will run for exactly 1 second, no matter how fast or slow your game is performing. Now give your time source a function, which is called when the time source expires. Specify an array with the arguments that you want to pass into that function. In my function, I'll create an instance of an object at the mouse's position just to test this time source. And then to actually start your time source, you have to run this function or action on your time source variable. Now because all of this code is inside a script, it will run as soon as the game starts. So in the game, you will see an instance being created after 1 second. And nothing happens after that because by default, a time source only runs once. You can change that by adding another argument here, which is the total number of times you want your time source to run, or set it to minus 1 to make it repeat forever. That's what I will do here and then run the game. And now you will see that every 1 second a new instance is created, and this will keep happening until you manually pause or stop your time source, which you can do with these functions. Read the GameMaker manual for information on all of the functions you can use with time sources. Play around and experiment with them and I will see you in the next video.